are now looking at a Mazda CX-3 in probably sole red. And as always, we'll do our best to give you extremely random information. So, for starters, Mazda is in big trouble. This is merely an assumption because we used to think that the left field Japanese brand was simply dancing to its own tune. But after testing most of their compact SUV crossover efforts, we got the feeling that they are in a spot of bother. Why? Well, up to now they had their badges nicely organized. Two letters dash number. And seeing that the beloved X for crossover was already part of their naming strategy, they simply slapped a C onto the front for what is plainly a range of compact crossover vehicles. Brilliant. You may even go so far as to conspiracy theorize that they're dyslexic and hinting at a luxury Swedish brand with its refined range of soft rotors. Mazda even left plenty of room to grow with a cute CX-3 or larger CX-5 on offer. The only issue we knew of was that their pricing was too close and people were easily upsold to the 5. What a wonderful problem to have. And it's here, in the negligible space between these models, where things went a bit wrong in recent times. You see, Mazda introduced the equally attractive CX-30 model, which not only breaks the letter-letter number mold, but also wipes its backside with most other criteria. Is it a trendy wannabe coupe? No. Some sort of soft evolution or direct successor of the CX-3? Also not. It's a standalone model, which comes dangerously close to the CX-5 in terms of size, spec and price. They should have called this the CX-4 and 3 quarters, or in keeping with a new naming strategy, CX-48 would have been more accurate. Still don't believe me? Watch this. So, on paper, the CX brethren are incredibly close. That also goes for their looks, although I think that the middle child has some of that coupe SUV thing going on. The cabins are fairly similar as well, although the newbie has a better infotainment screen and sharper instruments, which will hopefully make their way to the other models soon. If not, that is certainly a unique selling proposition. Fresher tech and slightly cooler looks. Not that the other two vehicles are even remotely ugly. Mazda makes some seriously good looking machines. Because they all share the same drivetrain, albeit with a detuned engine in the CX-3, Piloting one is pretty familiar territory to anyone who's been exposed to the other two. If you're new to the Mazda stable, pick any one of the trio because they have modern and dynamic handling with just enough ride comfort for everyday use. Allow me to reiterate, unless they're planning five more models in the immediate future, this clustered lineup simply doesn't make any sense. However, if your local dealer is out of CX-5 stock or the CX-30 is just a bit too big, like a tiny bit, then this trusty little CX-3 2.0 Dynamic Auto might just fit the bill. Each vehicle is sold with a 3-year unlimited mileage warranty and matchy-matchy service plan.